Dear friends and colleagues, it is very glad to see you on Simpson London Conference 2021. Our topic today is online or on site, Chinese music and instrument museum after the pandemic. By Anna Wang and Xiang Zhang. The speaker is Anna. Firstly, the presentation is going to introduce the background and the general pandemic effect to Chinese museums, and it brought out a question that whether the blooming of Chinese museum online interactive activities were caused only by the extremely condition of the pandemic effect, or it is an inevitable progress of the museum development. Then we will analyze the question. From the governmental policies, the basic conditions of China, and the museum online interactive cases during and after the pandemic in controlled. The last is the conclusion. In the end of 2019. There was the first COVID-19 infected case confirmed in Wuhan. Without any preparation, the unknown virus caused a serious outbreak in China before Spring Festival 2020. The pandemic is an extremely severe disaster to China and all of the world. In order to prevent the continuing outbreak and blockade the virus spreading inside China, on 23 January 2020. All walks of life in Wuhan were stopped. Museums, as public gathering places for response to COVID-19 prevention regulation, all the museums in Hubei Province were shut down in January, and until March, all the Chinese museums, included in official record system and not yet finished record procedure, there were more than 6,000 museums shut down in China. But the connection between the museums and the audience will not be cut down straightly. There were various of online museum activities offered to the public, such as a 5G cloud museum tour, virtual exhibition, online lectures and trainings, concerts, festival blessing ceremony, and a series of special topic posts showed up on museums' official social media accounts. Those activities. Have as a huge online exposure, fan bases, and favorable comments. Before the pandemic, museum online activities were only likely a supplementary form of online museum events. So we start to think whether the blooming of Chinese museum online interactive activities were only caused by the extreme condition of the pandemic effect, or it is an Inevitable progress of the museum development, and we think the answer is the later one. Since China's reform and opening up stage, the most of Chinese museums were national assets. The business format and industry chain was for archaeological excavation. Cultural relics repair to the museum exhibitions and the public education program. The online format had been in very slowly development progress for a long time. In 2016, China had formulated a series of supporting policies for Chinese museums in the development of internet, science, and technology applying. There were three encouraging policies issued in 2016 in the guidelines of science and technology innovation in the 13th Five-Year Plan for Cultural Heritage Protection and Public Cultural Service. It pointed out the working priority of the museum from 2016 to 2020, which to focus on science and technology innovation and the internet applying. 
extent on Internet plus Chinese civilization through a plan. It encouraged the museum to build up the system and the regulation of observation, to open up and cooperate with organizations and companies. At the same time, for strengthening the 13th five-year cultural relics technology handbook, it pointed out seven working priorities, including enhancing the research in basic application program, promoting the preventive protection technology innovation, building the technological system of cultural relics repair, building modern information technology system, improving the upgrade of cultural relics protection equipment and application, building and improving the standard system, enhancing the publicity of technological achievement. In 2017, for governmental financial support, the management measures of Internet plus Chinese Civilization Special Fund issued it. Then, there were three different ways, including the budget of a museum related to the Bureau Level Department, the Central Government Support Fund of a Cultural Industry, Special Fund for National Essential Cultural Relics Protection, had the funds especially to support Internet plus museum projects. After the serious politics issued, Chinese museum entered a new page of experiments in Internet plus museum. Numbers of museum official social media accounts emerged. Museum official website started upgrade and post a link of virtual exhibitions that are free to public. And on 2008 January 2020, five days after Wuhan locking down, Chinese National Cultural Relics Bureau released the proposal for offering online exhibition to museum online exhibition platform to encourage the museums to support a free visual exhibition resource to audience. And there were 1,300 museums responded to the proposal and more than 2,000 virtual exhibitions happened in 2020, which might hardly happen if without five years continuing policy support in technology, innovation, and finance. The museum online activities blooming also needed the public intensive attention and the huge numbers of accessible users. Based on the 45th statistical report of Internet development in China by China Internet Network Information Center, until March 2020, there were 904 million Internet users in China. The national Internet penetration rate reached 64.5%. And smart mobile phone users reached 897 millions, and 99.3 percentage of them surfing internet via the mobile phone. On the basis of the statistical report from National Cultural Heritage Administration, with the continuing influence of Chinese museum free ticket policies since 2008, two years later. Chinese museum experienced 10 years golden timing in developing. The total museum number was 3,145 in 2010, increased to 5,535 in the end of 2019. Among them, there were 4,929 museums. A free to the public which received 10 billion two hundred and twenty million visitors in 2019. And about 28,600 exhibitions, 334,600 education activities held by Chinese museums. Since the 30th five-year plan, about every two days, a new museum is established in China. In average, Every 250,000 Chinese had one museum. In 2020, with the pandemic spread in the country, 
included online and offline exhibitions and education activities. There were 29,000 exhibitions and 225,000 educational activities held by Chinese museums. After the pandemic uncontrolled, with the preventive and limited museum entrance regulation, there were 540 million visitors received by the Chinese museum on that year. Even the pandemic-related annual visitor number dropped dramatically. The museum online event broke the limitation in space and time, and only the 2,000 online exhibitions brought 5 billion page views. Public attention to the museum, go to museums, still was the social trend in China. In 2020, Various of online activities offered by Chinese museums. Chinese Music Museum and Comprehensive Museum related with music as an essential part of it also offered numbers of online events to the public. Wuhan completed 5G network covering the whole city in 2019. Then Hubei Provincial Museum became the first 5G museum in China. During the locking down, Hubei Provincial Museum offered a 5G museum program, including museum app and the 5G panoramic tour. Five virtual exhibitions, virtual and music online classroom, with serious topics articles, short films, museum Q&A, and online menu training class. Also, designed an online interactive education program for the temporary ukiyo-e exhibition, in the museum. On the left is the panoramic tour of the museum. Visitors could assist the link via QR code, official media account, or website. Visitors can freely see the museum exhibitions, checking the exhibit contents by their phone or computers. And there is one thing that they can only do online, that is enter the biggest exhibition showcase to get a closer look of Qing Bells of Marcus E of Zen. And on the right, is the user using museum app to check in the collections. There were more than 100 activities held by Rose and Music online classroom during the Wuhan locking down. Considering the current situation for that time, our topic was not only focused on music, it related with the pandemic situation. In order to spread in the importance of washing hands and wearing masks, the museum opened two classes for telling the stories of how ancient people washing hands and fought with the Lupiruses in Qing Dynasty. The two classes harvest a very good public reflection. The numbers of reposts viewed and liked were four times more before the pandemic, which reached around 1,000 for each. Cooperated with the Sina Entertainment. The museum made six episodes short series movies, The Inner World from the Cultural Relics. The projects aiming to comfort, encourage, and entertain the viewers, especially for the people still in the locking down. By telling the inner meaning and the stories of the most important six collections of the museum.
。哎，大家好，万物复苏，人间值得。我将走遍世界，把所有的谜底揭穿。我就是毛馆长。这些天你是不是在家里待得快发霉了？<笑>其实吧，待个几十天不出门真的不算什么，很多国宝在地下一待就是几千年呐、啊。但是神奇的是，有一件文物被深埋在地下两千多年，竟然一点儿也没有发霉，这就是被誉为天下第一件的越王勾。Members of Museum Lab Broadcasting on various platforms displayed it. According to the record of People's Daily, there were eight million people watching the live at the same time. After museum reopened, the museum still keeping offering online care activities. And in order to enhance the periodical pandemic controlling achievements, to encourage people to stay the way they are, the rules and the music online classroom. Held digital festival greeting activities, and it was warmly welcomed by the public. There were two million people watching the show. Other museums in Hubei also opened online activities, like join the muse live museum tour and free lectures. Outside Hubei, the outbreak scale was much smaller, and there were more different kinds of online activities, such as live concerts, spring festival pre-win ceremony live, ringing the big bell, and also they offered lots of live museum tours on social media. On 23rd February 2020, eight museums cooperated with Taobao. The biggest online trading platform of Alibaba. The museum directors, one by one, introduced their museum and the products from the gift shops. The live broadcasting was holding 12 hours. In the peak period, there were 10 million people watching the live at the same time. And the daily turnover was four times more than the past. Online activities brought back lots of attentions and positive reflections. An analysis report of internet attention in Hubei Province tourism report on June 2020. Compared with the other cities or province, Hubei became the top three locations name related with tourism. Museum reopen was rushing to the top ten hot topic of searching engine. Hubei Provincial Museum had 19,755 online informations, 6,922 exposure by media, and rated the top one scenic sports in Hubei Province. In conclusion, museum online interactive form is an inevitable progress of the museum development. The achievement was not built up in a short month during the locking down. A long time continuing policy support, a wide public attention, and large users, and efforts through museum staff and relative companies, were the key elements to make it happen. And the pandemic stepped up the progress in an unexpected way. Thank you for 